And I want us to go over to Matthew's account and listing of the 12, because we're going to find something gospel gorgeous there. If you could go with me to Matthew chapter 10, verses one through four, when Matthew was writing his gospel under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, when he comes to his own name, where Luke simply mentions him, the name Matthew, Matthew in Matthew 10 mentions Matthew the tax collector and Simon the zealot. And I want us to stop and pause there and I want us to consider tax collectors and zealots in Jesus's world 2000 years ago. They could not have been further apart on the cultural continuum. On the tax collector side, they're collaborators with the Roman Empire. They function sort of like a corrupt IRS so often, not always. But tax collectors were the middlemen, Jewish people collecting taxes from the Jewish people for Rome. And often they would add on to that tax and they would pocket that money for themselves. They were hated by the local population. They were sort of seen as the Benedict Arnolds of their people because they were in cahoots with the Romans. It is so interesting that Matthew was a tax collector. We're learning a little bit about who Jesus is, what he's like, what it's gonna mean for us to follow him when we look at the kinds of people that Jesus chose to follow him.